Next talk is by Mr. V. R. Mehta, Jaipur Food, New Delhi. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's a privilege for me to address this distinguished gathering. Uh, first, let me make it clear that my original subject for this talk was the Jaipur Food Innovation, which is a marvel in frugal in engineering. But since that subject has more or less been covered yesterday by Mr. D. R. Mehta, my brother, I thought uh, I could as well talk about the innovation work that is being supported by the Tata Trust, where I'm working as a trustee in Sardarabji Tata Trust. Firstly, let me give you a brief summary of uh, what the Tata Trusts are. We have a number of Tata Trusts, but the principal ones are the two, Sardarabji Tata Trust and Sir Ratan Tata Trust. These were set up in 1919 and 1932 with the donors bequeathing, the Tata family bequeathing everything that they owned to the trusts. And there are other smaller allied trusts. So all these put together are called Tata Trusts. Collectively, the Tata Trusts spent in the last financial year about 800 crores. And all our revenues come from the dividend of Tata Sons. We support through grants the areas of healthcare, agriculture, energy, education, natural resource management and livelihoods, and arts and culture. Now, I come to the work done by the trust in the area of supporting innovation. As you know, Mr. Tata is very passionate about genuine innovation in India. And after his uh, retirement from Tata Sons, he has involved himself in this work in the trust in a very major and passionate way. Uh, the trusts are basically philanthropic organizations and they establish institutions of excellence. This particular institution which we are, we are now in, TIAS, Indian Institute of Science, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Tata Memorial Center um, for Cancer, both in Bombay and Calcutta, TIS, and various other iconic institutions, they have all been set up by our trusts and they also support them from time to time. The trusts are trying. Now, you see, the basic point is that we can support institutions under our charter only with grants. We cannot invest in equity. So how do we catalyze innovation? And that is what we have tried to develop an ecosystem and accelerate innovation. <laughs> For this purpose, a foundation for innovation and social entrepreneurship has been established. This is, of course, not a part of the Tata Trust, but the trusts support it with some other donors as well. Now, this is the kind of problems we are facing. We have about 115 million, we require about 115 million additional non-farm jobs in the next decade. Similarly, we need to increase the agricultural production and productivity. And then also social spending has to increase from the present 20% to 50%. This is the size of the problem. So this, we have a partnership with DST, Department of Science and Technology, and we are providing this accelerator programs through the foundation for social innovation and social entrepreneurship. The current status of this foundation is it is established as a Section 8 company, etc. All those details are there. 
We started operations in April 2016, formal launch April 2017, and spending prudently. We have also set up the, a Tata Center for Design and Technology in MIT as a part of this process. This was founded in 2012. The strategy is to push the boundaries of what is possible and to find new ways of using sophisticated science and technology to bring benefits of modernity. Tata Center at MIT is focused on creating large sustained impact. The researchers work closely with the ground collaborators. The focus areas in MIT Center are agriculture, energy, environment, health, urbanization, and water. Then, as a counterpart uh, center, we have one at IIT Mumbai, Mumbai. And there's a continuous interaction, both at the faculty level and the fellows level, between the two institutions, so that they can have the same quality of learning and excellence. And ultimately, they can nurture MTech and PhD scholars to become next generation leaders in engineering and science and business fields. These students are called Tata Fellows. Six, process, six solutions developed under Tata Center are in the process of patent. Then we have another center coming up by, uh, su supported by the Tata Trust that is at the University of California, San Diego that is called Tata Center for Active Genetics and Society. It is going to do some real, undertake some real path-breaking work. Uh, I was there last year and I met uh, two very eminent scientists, Dr. Ethan Bayer and Dr. Anthony Jones, who are working on this eradication of vector-borne diseases. And they have uh, developed a new model in which they would be creating a new genetically modified mosquito which will not be able to carry the parasites. These are the various partnerships. Our great advantage is that with our reputation, we are able to leverage uh, our efforts and a lot of uh, other agencies, funding agencies, they come forward and participate in this. Now, these slides, this and the next one, they are giving some details about the projects that have been undertaken at Tata Center in MIT. These uh, are some of the very important ones. For instance, solar power in irrigation systems, very cheap irrigation system, about one-tenth the cost, which can be used in rural areas. Then decentralized microgrids of electricity sharing. Then uh, ready-to-use therapeutic foods for severe acute malnutrition treatment and various other things, and including this prosthetic foot for persons with amputation, which, which, with which I'm also associated as its executive president. Uh, there we have three projects in MIT. One they have completed that is a free, called a freedom chair for a wheelchair, which is uh, capable of moving on uneven terrains. Normally the wheelchairs cannot move uh, on floors other than very smooth ones. Second one is for developing a new Jaipur foot with polyurethane. We tried earlier with ISRO, but uh, it did not, I'm, I'll just take one minute. It did not uh, finally pass muster and we are working on that. And they are also developing a new knee joint, uh, which earlier we had developed with Stanford University and which is uh, already acclaimed as one of the best in the world. It was acclaimed by Time Magazine in 2009 as one of the 50 best inventions of the world. Uh, now, the rest of the slides, I wouldn't like to delay this. The rest of the slides are about the work, uh, the projects that are being taken up at the data center at MIT. And the only point I want to make is that once they reach a stage in incubation where they can be taken up for commercial exploitation, 
that is when the foundation so far all these are within the umbrella of the tata trust the mit center but once they reach the stage of uh, incubation where they can be taken up for commercial application then the uh, this foundation for innovation and social engineering steps in and helps them both uh, with support uh, financial support and also bringing in other investors uh, for the use i think uh, i'm run out of time so thank you very much <laughs>